Do you feel that? Must be Frederick and Juliet welcoming us home. Yeah. And I'm glad we didn't disappoint them. Or the house. Well, a place that's seen a 60-year marriage. Is, well, it really knows when two people are meant to be together. Yeah. They probably knew before we did. Mm. You know, the former residents aren't the only ones that are going to be happy. Dean is going to be ecstatic. And he could use a, an object lesson in Love Conquers All at the moment. I put so many people I love through so much pain. You did this. what you had to do. Everybody understands yeah, that. everyone but me. The thing I don't understand is how I could have taken such a wrong turn spiritually. What do you mean? I really thought I had a clear reading on what my fate was, that I was meant to be a mother to Gregory and take Charlene's place. See, I've always prided myself on, on being in touch with the universal vibrations. You had the right ticket, you just got off at the wrong station. Pride. That, that's it, pride. That's what? Mama used to quote scripture that pride goeth before a fall. See, the more in, in touch I thought I was, the further away I got from the truth. I had to practically fall off that mountaintop before I could, you know, accept that my fate wasn't what I thought it was. I guess there's no figuring fate. Exactly. And that came to me when I let go of all of the ought to's and just let what is be there. So what have you learned? That you are the center of my life. All of my life. Back Felicia, to here. I no. have to know. Could you actually be Jenna's father? Hello, Frankie. So, that's sort of how Luke figured everything out. And you have to admit, there is a certain resemblance. Honey, I'll tell you exactly what I told Lucas. Gloria and I were never lovers. Well, I knew that you weren't her type. <laughs> no, I was more her secretary's type. Yes. Listen, if Gloria and I had had an affair, which I repeat, we did not, and the right number of years later, a wonderful child like Jenna appeared, don't you think I'd claim her on the spot? It just hurts so much. You know, Luke has been shutting me out for weeks, and, you know, every time he sees us together, he either goes and salts somewhere or, or he has a fit. I know how awful it must feel, Felicia, but in a way I could see his wanting to protect you. I mean, I was at the hospital when he and Ryan brought in Doug Lamont, and they were scared. They weren't talking. Well, I think it's very sweet you're defending him. But I sort of see this as a test that, well, we both flunked as a couple. I mean, if, if you can't trust somebody when it's tough... Sometimes you get lucky, and you make it anyway. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be here at this time. <laughs> well, no, it's, you know, it's... Consistent with your honeymoon afternoon with Lucas when yeah. half the town showed up for counsel and guidance. Yeah, me too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Those are good times, aren't they? I guess you both know I, I'm so happy for you. I really am. I, I mean, I love John. But I guess there was no question who I was rooting for. <laughs> John will find his way. Probably when he stops looking. Boy, I can tell your best. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm here to tell you that this guy was totally faithful. He never even looked at another woman. I love you, Father. Thank you. Love you, Take care. Thanks. Okay, I looked, but I was not seriously tempted. Yeah, except for maybe that red-headed lawyer. How did you 